this pigment has been banned for over a hundred years. This is a bull of genuine Indian yellow. The story behind it goes that it was obtained by feeding cows only with mango leaves. This caused the cows to be sick and malnutrition, so it was banned and seen as animal cruelty. But before that, it was used as a pigment by famous artists all over the world. This is an unpurified version, so it has some, well, rubble, dust, maybe hay, any kind of debris in it, um, and it smells really bad. Luckily enough, I got a sample from Cornelissen and Sons, and they sent me a shard of Indian yellow from their collection to compare it with another microscope. Fortunately, I'm working with the real deal. So this is a mustard-like yellow, which becomes more vibrant on the slab when you spread it out or dilute it. There's even the shards and even that little piece I put under the microscope, I made powder of it, diluted it with alcohol, was so much brighter than this. But as you can see, when I dilute it with water and swatch it, this is the Indian yellow all the manufacturers make a hue of. A bright and vivid yellow that just lets you think of the sun, summer, happiness. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, these are some Indian yellow hues compared to the original thing. Things from the past, things from the present, uh, things that are no longer used as a watercolor anymore, but I'm going to compare the raw, dry pigments and the swatches of all Indian yellow hues that I have. If you have any favorites out there from different brands, please let it know in the comments down below which are your Indian yellow hues, which are your, your go-tos. So I have nickel azo yellow, nickel dioxam yellow, and Gamboge over here compared to NY20, the genuine Indian yellow. But which are the ones that you like? From which brand? So let me know down below in the comments. Hope to see you next video and see you soon.